All right. This is how you fix, uh, you change your spells in uh, Roll20. So I'm in Roll20. I'm in my campaign. I'm going to go ahead and open up my character sheet. Look at my biom. Go to my character sheet. I'm going to go over here to spells. So these are all the, spe the spells that I have prepared for today. If, say I take a long rest and I want to... Um, I want to change my spells around. Let's say I don't want to spell magic. Uh, I can go ahead and find out what spell I want. What's a third level spell? I don't know. Uh, let me see. Go over here. Go search. Search for the name of the spell. Let me see. They have, just have spells. Spells. All right. I'm going to filter results. I want... Um, classes, I just want cleric spells for me. You obviously pick druid spells or whatever uh, in the class you are. Uh, concentration, yes or no. Spell attack, blah, blah, blah. Spell attack is, you know, melee or something else. All right. uh, name, level, I want a third level spell. Cantrips, normally you can't change unless, um, like, when you're changing a level. There are certain uh, exceptions to this, like if you're, like, a... Like a like a quill uh, school mage, but, but uh, if you're a druid or a cleric or something like that, then normally you can't change your, uh, your cantrips unless, you're unless you uh, made a, a new level. All right, so let's apply these filters, right? So let's say I want to uh, get rid of spell magic and put in, um, I don't know, a uh, glyph of warding, right? So I click over here, unlock it, get rid of spell magic. Take Glyph of Warding, oh, lock it again. Take Glyph of Warding, just drag it and drop it. All right, so Aura of Vitality and Lumen's Tiny Hut, are, those are spells that I get automatically. Actually, I get two spells, so I should be able, I should have a total of four. So, and depending on what, uh, what uh, subclass you are, you'll get certain, uh, certain spells that are automatically in your list, like Fairy Fire for me and uh, and uh, was it sleep or are mine like moonbeam? So those are on, those don't count against the, the your spells, right? So keep those in mind. Don't delete those. Just they're always ready. But other spells, like I say, I put in spell magic, right? Drag and drop them over here. And there are two the sources. There's like um, player's handbook or Xanasar's guide to everything. Um, if it says like EK, like that says two spells are exactly the same, but one says PHB and one says EK. Pick the PHB. I think the EK one's like the uh, it's the same spell. Is just I think the like the the free to use version or something like that. I forget. <laughs> the player's handbook for one and, and uh, is usually going to be better and more detailed or whatever. I found some small differences between the the player's handbook one and the whatever the EK one is. All right, so that's it. So once you're ready, uh, all you got to do is like say you cast a spell. Um, you just go ahead and sometimes it does it automatically, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Like, I think it depends on where you click. So I think if I click it from the list, it doesn't do it. Or if I do it like from, like if I do it from here, I think maybe it takes it off automatically. But as long as you keep track, you're fine. So just remember like whenever you cast a spell to make sure that it matches with whatever it should be as you're going along. Because you don't want to be like one of those guys who's casting, you know, you know, 10 different first level spells when you only have four slots. <laughs> All right. So keep that in mind. So I hope that helps and uh, let me know if there's anything I can, else I can help you with.